Hello, my wonderful people, viewers, and subscribers. Greetings to you all. Oh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. We're gonna hear what's in the happen. Oh, hey, um, according to my sub, my sub don't come oh, in high critics of the so called uh, spokesperson of uh, the Zeus uh, presidential uh, under media and the strategy, uh, strategy by name. Bayo Ononoga, who come out to openly and signal to the Igbo people, saying we are one a day. Oh, this man never stopped to the Lambas Igbo simply because we have made ourselves tools before uh, every Tom and Jerry, before every uh, um, uh, stinking uh, mouth. We come out now and begin to talk ill of the Igbos and the Biafrans and the Ipops. And according to um, uh, Masob, they said Ononoga knows that Northerners are behind the plans, uh, plan the mass protest, not P2B or IPOBO, now waiting movement for the actualization of state of uh, Biafra, now waiting the talk. Anyway, my people, now here we go to start our news this uh, early Thursday morning. Remember, my name is Silliman, I'm on the NSA reporting from the platform of Okuta Daily Talk. Like, share, comment, and make sure you keep subscribing to this channel because more of these videos will be coming your way. I just want to warm your bed yo, with this important information to let you know that uh, every session of the country, even as I'm talking to you now, 180 uh, House of Rep members don't gather who can uh, join hand with uh, Ubi Agwacha, who is a representative of uh, Iquano and the Isukwato in Abia State. To agitate for the release of Mazen Namdekano, including Northern Asa, where they speak uh, ill of uh, Namdekano and the movement of Biafra. But I can tell you, my people, these people have already seen their handwriting on the wall. They have already known that Biafra is a short deal uh, this year. So, for uh, for security purposes, not even for security purposes, for record purposes, uh, at least in the history it will enter uh, that. Uh, uh, these people join hands uh, to call for the release of Mazen Namdekano before Biafra comes. That is exactly what they are doing. They are trying to play the devil's advocate here. I know this uh, this kind of game. Politicians can never be trusted. But anyway, whichever way it is, let us see what happens in the coming days. So, my people, another headline where we go through to or where you go spread for this matter. The plan protest uh, against Tunumbu's government is political. Make one I see waiting people, the talk who. Well, I, I, you cannot blame them because all of them are, are under subsidy. They are eating everything they are eating, even where they are living, even the food they are buying, they are not paying for it. So how how would they know what an ordinary man is seeing on daily basis? Then this uh, flavor who called the use of he don't come out again and say, explain you why you want to protest. Now, what is Ojinjo, they ask Nigerians. So, they explain why they want to protest. Hmm. Uh, anyway, it is not their fault, uh, just like uh, uh, what I said uh, over the comment of Wiki. These are the people whom they, they brought out. Even the Northerners, they say, okay, we will put to go and protest, but let it be peaceful. But the ones of the South uh, Easterners, they are the ones that they will always use to play the devil's advocate at all times. Because any dirty job comes from them. Well, make on hear the real cuckoo while we are here this morning. Remember, the trending. Hashtag Biafra Mass Exodus 2024. That is where we stand and it must surely come to pass. The leadership, leadership of the movement of the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra, sorry, yes, uh, Masobo, has uh, on uh, Wednesday berated the Fulani government of Nigeria over its attack against the 2023 Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Gregory Ubi. Over the planned nationwide protest, according to the group, they argued that the protest is not orchestrated by P2B or IPOB or any other person from the Southeast or his nationwide supporters. But the truth there is that uh, people who are calling for protest, even the Northerners, the Yorubas, are the ones who are at the helm of this very affair. Masob claimed that Bola Mary Tunumbu's head, Bayo Ononikbunsi, is aware that northerners are trying to hijack power in 2027 are behind the planned protest and not peter ubi speaking via a statement by his leader uchen namado masob claimed that onanoga is being sponsored by bola metunubu's government to wage wars of character assassination on ubi and ndibu and also ipop in general according to mado the Fulani government of nigeria led by bola metunubu 
Though that the motivation and inciting of the massive organized protest is not influenced by Obi or anyone from the southeast, not even IPOB, but the northern oligarchies, leaders who include some powerful northern political, religious opinion and traditional leaders. The primary aim of this uh, northern political uh, uh, bogusies is not for the interests of the poor Nigerian masses, but for their advancement in plot to hijack power back to Arewa interests in 2027. It is not about P2B or his supporters of interest. Mr. Or, yeah, Mr. Bayo Ononi Ponce and the Reno Mokri are two leading internal and external figures sponsored by Bola Tunumbu led Fulani government of Nigeria in waging wars of character assassination, blackmailing and incitement against Peter Obi himself. Masob described Mr. Peter Obi as a true nationalist, the tribalized hope of the common citizens. He is being celebrated nationwide as a hero of modern day democracy in Nigeria. Though Masob believe in Biafra restoration, we acknowledge the input of Mr. Pitobi in the advancement of uniting the so-called Nigerian state, or you can call them the so-called uh, animal uh, kingdom state or cow republic state. Um, the protest against uh, Bola Metunumbu, yeah, according to Nyesom Wike, uh, the drunken master, he said it's a political uh, motivation <clears throat> or motivated. The minister of the FCT, uh, yes, some week has submitted that the planned nationwide protest against government of Bola Me Tunumbu is politically motivated. Okute News report that week yesterday this on uh, Wednesday or oh, yesterday while reacting to the protest scheduled for August 1st. Speaking while inspecting the Apo Kashi Road in Abuja, the minister called on Nigerians to be more patient with the Tunumbu led government, stressing that all challenges facing the country can be resolved in one day. Okay, in one day. He didn't resolve in one year, but in one day. Okay, now. He assured that the government of Bola Me Tunumbu is doing everything possible to deliver the dividends of democracy in the shortest time possible. You can see that the plan protest is politically and nothing more. We need to be patient with this government, we can say. Meanwhile, Bola Me Tunubu has called on Nigerians to reconsider the planned and bad government's protest set for next month. The appeal was made to the Information Minister Mohamed Idris during a briefing with the State House correspondents on Wednesday. Idris conveyed Bola Me Tunubu's message stating the issue of the planned uh, protest. Mr. President does not see any need to, for that. He asked them to share that plan. Is asked them to, to await the government response to all their plans. One good turn deserves another. Tunumbu protested against jo Jonathan, so he can never call off the protest because he entered into the government from the back door, which is a protest, eh? lambasting the previous government. That is how APC took over the affairs of the zoo. So now he do not want anybody to protest. And the other man is asking us, uh, or asking rather, asking the zoos, why must you protest? <laughs> ah, my well, well, Ulysses, Ulysses, for this country, you explain why you want to protest. Eh, according to Hopeless Uso Dinjo, he's asking Nigerians. Imo eh. State Governor Hopeless Uso Dinjo has expressed disappointment that the organizers of the nationwide protest have not yet made a public statement explaining their reasons for wanting to protest or participate in the street protest. Okute News report that Nigerians, particularly the youth, have proposed to engage in a nationwide protest against the ongoing economic hardship under the incumbent administration of Bola Ahmed Tunumbu Adekule. However, Udodinja said it was too early for such an event to happen under the current administration. Remember, uh, Occupy Nigeria 2012 to 2013, Uzo so do not forget. Hey, good luck is barely eight or nine months in office. When Tunumbu uh, led the people, said, let us occupy Nigeria for good 13 days. How the economic, no any single person was killed. All the individuals involved to postpone their plans until 2021. <laughs> who addressed reporters at the State House 
after introducing former Senate President Pius Anyim to Bola Tunumbu on Wednesday, mentioned that the governors from the Southeast region are opposed to the demonstration due to concerns over potential disruptions. He said democracy is about the opinion of the people and protest is allowed in a democratic setting. Every protest must be reasonably conceived to be able to make political sense. I think it is too early at this time in the life of this government for anybody to come out to say he wants to protest. First of all, there, there has not been any engagement where those who are sponsoring the protest were able to tell us the reason for protest. Secondly, given the global situation today and the insecurity in the country, we have a very fragile political environment that if not managed and protected very well, may collapse the entire country. Of course, that is what we want. But every OKK and Okafo, we know their stand. So those who are in going to protest, what is the reason for the protest? And if they have no reason for the protest, I think our advice as well, many Nigerians, is for them to shelve it. You also argue that it was not the right moment for anyone to voice their dissent, as the consequences of such actions, if not handled properly, could lead to it being taken over by criminals. So this is another kind of temptation. I think those behind the protest have not been able to come out openly to say that they are behind it. There is a motive that is yet to be unraveled. So people who are hungry will have to tell, come and tell you, I begin to tell you one after the other that uh, they are hungry and it is time to protest. Well, you are being subsidized. Everything you are using is free of charge, including looting the commonwealth of the poor masses. So why can't you ask this kind of question? And warfare. So this is another kind of temptation. I think those behind the protest have not been able to come out openly to say they are behind it. There is a motive behind it. So I think that uh, we are not in support of the protest. We are not going to support any protest that has no program. That is not discussed. That nobody knows what the problem is. Okay, if you are protesting, what do you want the government to do? Because the reason for protest is that they want an issue to be addressed. What are the issues? The issues there, one of them is that you, hopeless is Odunjo, should step down from your office because you have killed a lot of innocent youths in Imo State. So in my view, I think there is no need to overheat the polity, overheat our environment and put our people in a positive where the hardship that is occasioned by economic recession all over the world is further worsened. Can you see what this man is saying? Can you see how stupid this man is? To advise against protests, he said. He said that uh, the hardship in the country is being worsened by uh, economic hardship in the whole world. A big economic recession in the whole world. Not Trumbo's uh, uh, policies. This is the what we are saying. The, the, the hypocrisy in this government is too high. Anyway, my people, now here I go take back break and I go hear my voice again. When I come back, please like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos coming your way. My name is Siri Man, your one and only Amandi Anna is reporting from the platform of Okute Daily Talk. Just be guided. I'll be right back. Kenny Channel, my wonderful people.